Hey, uh, can you find that station that we listened to last night? Okay. I love you like light. I love you every night now. No, not that one, not that one. Here we go. It's eighties but rock, rock and roll. Here we go. No, not that one. Uh, the Republicans and the Democrats don't understand the value of the debt. Not that one for sure. Come on, man. Find the right station. Ah, here we go, man. Ah, here we go. Hell yeah, you found it. LSU Odyssey. Dot com's podcast, volume twelve. With your host, Lon Philip Sullivan. Hey, how's it going, everybody in the house? Yeah. Everybody, I am loving the new production value up here in the studio. This is fantastic. We got the production team. We got my man LPZ PZ on the mic. Every, you know, LPZ, say what's up to the people. Hey, how's it going, man? You know, I, it's been a dream for me just to come down here and, you know, I, 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 I this is the first time I've had, ever had corn roses before. I've never been able to do Yeah, yeah, you know that's that's brilliant. And you know, we want to we want to get back to that later LPZ, but first things first, my man. You know, we got to get to the business at hand here. Kamari Wilson is on campus at LSU. Today, the best safety in America, five star out of IMG. Will he follow in the same path as his man Eli Ricks, as his man, also from IMG, national champion and Thorpe Award winner from his time at LSU, and draft pick, high draft pick, Grant Delpit. Will he follow in the path of Grant Delpit and Eli Ricks in becoming another five-star superstar safety to come out of IMG at LSU? Hopefully, I think Durante Jones has really made every effort here to pull in this guy. He is the number one safety priority of the class left after the secure, you know, after after LSU secured the local five star out of Ponchatoula, Jacoby Matthews, an absolute super freak himself. So, if you can you imagine that secondary, that 2022 secondary, if they ever started together. When they ever started, when they start together, Kamari Wilson and Jacoby Matthews, can you fathom the punishment? I don't think you can. Um, can you fathom the the football IQ on that field? I don't think you can. I don't think you can even measure that. Uh, those two would be stunning together. You know, Kamari Wilson has expert pre-snap diagnosis, unlike anything you've ever seen. Well, okay, we'll avoid the hyperbole. Kamari Wilson has excellent pre-snap diagnosis, especially, probably the best in his class. Reminds me of Sage Ryan from the class before, who had the best in his class. Just next-level football IQ. Smell the play before it happens. Communicate, assemble, get everybody in the right place, watch that defense explode. They're proven winners. They, uh, they're surrounded by highly talented players as well you know where they're where they're from both schools that they went to you know 
Sage Ryan at Lafayette Christian Academy. You just see all the names coming out of there lately. And then you got, you know, one dude after another at IMG. You know, Jihad Campbell, um, Dominic James, uh, Keon Sab. Um, it's just ridiculous. The, the names just go flying off. And there was a defensive end who uh, visited LSU. I, the name escapes me right now, but he's also a five-star, and his tape blew my mind. Malik, I, I don't want to say his name wrong, but I think it might be Malik, but either way, Malik Bryant, I think it's his name, Malik Bryant. I'm not sure. I don't want to say that. But uh, he's another stunner on IMG. They have a hell of a class on defense. If LSU could even get one or two of these guys as part of this 2022 class on defense, which I think it would be Dominic James and Kamari Wilson would be those two. That would be fantastic. Jihad Campbell has also been highly recruited by LSU. That's starting to tail off. I'm not sure. I, I You know, it's everything I hear is that recruitment is starting to tail off, but then I just see everything still going into those IMG guys. So... The IMG guys have a hell of a class coming in here in the 2022 senior year for these guys. But uh, Kamari Wilson, he will be visiting the school today. I am more than excited. This is one of my favorite players as a class. Alongside Kendrick Locke, Kamari Wilson is probably that number two guy because he's just... He's so fun to watch on film. You've got to watch him on film. I... I, I I cannot stress it enough, this kid, he will be playing the NFL one day. This young man will be blowing up the NFL. I just, I have a feeling about that. I don't want to make any lofty comparisons, things like that, but I've got a few guys in my head that he reminds me of that, uh, I'll let Kamari uh, know that in private, but, um, you know, <laughs> just, just, just be advised. Kamari Wilson isn't just a name, he's not just another, ooh, a five-star safety, ooh, a nice, shiny uh, recruit, yay, he's on campus, let's uh, welcome him, no, like, this is a guy who could transform that defense, especially, especially alongside an experienced Sage Ryan in year two, especially with potentially Jay Ward, who would still be there, or if Jay Ward is already in the NFL, you got Jordan Tolls potentially there. Uh, you know, with Sage Ryan, Matthew Langlois, then you'd have Jacoby Matthews, Derek Davis Jr. Like, that's a filthy safety group, y'all. And you know what? That's not even all the names. Because I know I'm leaving somebody out. I know I'm leaving somebody out. Zavon Fountain, I know he I know he's back there as well. Walk on Pig Cage. Pig Cage, my man Pig Cage out of Nickel State walked on just barely. This guy, this guy he is illicit. The way he hits people, I mean, it's it's absolutely it is absolutely illegal. The way this man goes about his business on the football field. He destroys and deletes people out there. And I when, when it, here's the thing. The people in Louisiana who know football. Okay? People in Louisiana who know football were all very very excited when this uh, when this commitment came down, okay? When this transfer, I guess you could call it Ju Juco tra transfer uh, when that came down. I was one of them because I had I'd, I'd heard a little bit. But it's very interesting to me that people like Jack Besh were like, man, they were just extremely excited to play this guy. You know, this guy's going to be on our team? woo -hoo -hoo. Like, damn. Damn, we're loaded. And then they start looking around at the room and go, Man, there's a future here. There's a beautiful, beautiful future here at LSU in the secondary. 
you know, when you're talking about Kamari Wilson coming in as a freshman, he could be playing, well, no, not could be, he will be playing alongside Eli Ricks in year three, Dwight McLaughlin in year three, you know, right there, you've got two shutdown corners. Right there, you've got two guys who are going to shut down that field. I think Dwight McLaughlin, not really talked about, I think he's going to have a hell of a year. And so here's the thing, Kamari Wilson has a chance to really be a sponge and and maximize his game even more at LSU. Durante Jones, this is an NFL lifer. I, I believe he's going to go back to the NFL at some point. But while he's there at LSU, we need to cherish this moment. Because I think Durante Jones, much like Andre Carter, is going to be a magnet for these kids who want to go to the NFL because they want to learn from these NFL dynamos. I mean, why why wouldn't you? Why would you? Why wouldn't you? It's like uh, if, say, Sports Illustrated called me tomorrow and said, hey, do you want to learn under Ross Dellinger? I'd be like, oh, that's fantastic. Sure. That's a great opportunity. Or, you know, say Sports Illustrated calls me and say, hey, do you want to learn under, uh, you know, Tina Fey? Or uh, do you want to learn under, uh, what's a horrible name here? Do you want to learn under Kevin Spacey? Uh, no. In all the meanings of that uh, word, no. No point is, it, you, LSU have these guys on staff that are a, a head coach's dream when you're going into a recruiting battle. Andre Carter has 25 years combined NFL experience. He will be in the Hall of Fame at some point. How could you not as a defensive lineman, want to learn from such a dude. Okay, and then you got Corey Raymond, cornerbacks coach, best corner coach in, in the country. That's not just a, a Homer LSU view. And then you can also say, you can also make a strong argument he's the best recruiter in the country. But now, We've got Jake Peets. We've got Durante Jones. Okay. Even Blake Baker brings a ton of uh, interesting news that has completely, completely defied his critics so far. You know, he hasn't called it down of, 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 of game yet, but, you know, an LSU Tiger told me we couldn't ask for a better coach. One of the linebackers on the LSU Tigers told me we couldn't ask for a better coach. They love that guy. So, Kamari Wilson, if you're listening to this, understand that you're coming into the makings of a, of a, of a dynasty. Okay, bro? This team is looking to win their second national championship in three years. This team is on a mission. They're on a mission, my man. This team is not afraid. And I think you'd be a perfect, perfect part of this team. And uh, at the same time, even though it might be packed and loaded at safety, iron sharpens iron here at LSU. And Kamari, my man, you're one of the sharpest. you got to get down here at Baton Rouge, baby. Go Tigers.